So here we have a uh, Google spreadsheet. Um, this can also be done in Microsoft Excel. It, it works exactly the same for the first part, but then we're going to see where things change for Google Sheets later on. Uh, it changes in two different ways, two extremely powerful ways that Excel really should start taking advantage of fairly soon. It might uh, Excel might have these functionalities in uh, Excel 365, but in um, the early, earlier versions, it doesn't have it. So let's see what we uh, we do we can do here. So uh, we saw we had our inputs and outputs. Of course, pineapple being the greatest and absolutely deserves its place on pizza. So let's say that we want the user input up here. So in this cell, we'll put in what the user wants. That's a bit bright. So let's say they want pink. So one way we could um, code this, and I don't re recommend this, is using if statements. So if E1, and I'm going to lock that, equals the word pink, then return bananas. And we can see bananas is returned. But um, then we can continue this. So if we change this to blue, it'll just give us a false because we have nothing coded for blue. So let's put in blue. Um, otherwise, if E1, and I'm going to lock that again with F4, equals blue, then we're going to use apples. We're going to return apples. So if it's pink, then we get bananas. If it's blue, then we use apples. Now I'm not a fan of typing things into this uh, cell. So here's a quick trick for you to create a dropdown box. We go up to data validate, sorry, data, and then data validation. List from a range, we're going to select the range A2 to A5, or however long your list is. So now you can see a little arrow here. We can click on that and we get the full list of items. So if we click on pink, this changes to bananas. And if we click on blue, this changes to apples. I'm just going to lower this down so we can see it without being blocked. If however, we choose green, we get a false because we haven't coded green into our formula, into this formula. So we'll need another if statement. So now as we change these from pink to green to yellow to blue, we'll always get something back. Now that is not a good way of setting up your uh, data or your formulas. This if statement here, it's insanely big. And if anything needs to change, then you're going to need to come into here and change it manually. Not a good idea. So instead, we'll use a VLOOKUP equals VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP stands for vertical lookup. We're going to look into this area here and we're going to look into this column. And if this E1 here matches something in this column, then we'll return what's in the second column. That's why it's called vertical because we're going in columns vertically across. So VLOOKUP, uh, the first thing we want to do is pick what are we going to look for? Well, we're looking for the user input, that's this E1. So that's our first one. Remember to lock that with F4, and then a comma. Where are we going to look? We're going to look in this input output lookup table. So we'll highlight all of that, and again, F4 to lock that. Now I want to, I don't want to return the words pink or blue or green or yellow, I want to return this second column. So after another comma, comma, We'll put the number two, that means the second column, and then another comma and end with a zero. I think in Microsoft Excel, you have to write the word false there. In Google Sheets, you could write a zero or false. That zero on the end just tells us, are we looking for an exact match or an approximate match? Approximate match is useful when you've got a list of numbers. And we press enter and we get the word bananas. So let's just see uh, if this all works. So if we click on blue, we should get the word apples. If we click on green, we should get the word pineapples. And if we click on water, uh, yellow, we should get watermelon. There we go. Perfect.
Um, but what if yellow, what if we run out of watermelon? There was only one piece in there. So what if we run out of watermelon um, and we replace it with, oh, I don't know, uh, what's another fruit, a tomato? Well, this automatically updates. We don't have to change anything. We can see it. it's all out in the open. We don't have to, it's not hidden away in a formula anywhere. So that makes it really easy to make changes to your um, to your business or your um, products, things like that. So I'm just going to move this over a little bit because I need a bit more room. So the output was our fruit. Our input was our color. And let's say that we have a little bit more information. Let's say that in the bowl it wasn't just fruit. It was there was also a vegetable. And uh, I'll get rid of the tomato just so that we don't have any debates about uh, if tomato is a vegetable or a fruit. Um, so let's pick some vegetables to go in here. So carrot, potatoes, lettuce, spinach. So this time, instead of returning the second column, I want to return the third column. Now it's really easy to do this. All we do is change this two here. Remember this two was means the second column out of this lookup table. I want to change it to a three. But as you can see, these dotted lines, which in Excel would be called dancing ants, they don't take into account this column C. So we also have to change or update this value here to C5. We click enter and we see we have spinach. If we look at the blue uh, one, we'll get potatoes. Let's change that to blue and we get potatoes. Super powerful, super quick. VLOOKUP, make sure you know it, um, but that's not the part that differs from Excel. That's exactly the same as Excel. Here's the cool part. Let's say that we want to return both bananas and carrots. In your VLOOKUP, we're going to select multiple columns. To do that, we need to use these braces, these curly brackets. And we want to re uh, return both column two and column three. If we press enter now, it'll only give us bananas because this two comma three, that, that's what's called an array. It's a list of values. So we need an array formula right at the beginning. If we press enter now, we get both bananas and carrots. We change this pink to, I don't know, uh, blue. We should get apples and potatoes. We change it to green, we'll get pineapple and lettuce, a great combination. Change it to yellow, we'll get watermelon and spinach. Automatically updating, we get two things returned. Again, that's something that hasn't been uh, implemented in Excel. It might be implemented in Excel 365. I'm not entirely sure on that. Um, but that's a super powerful move in Google Sheets using this array formula function. One other place that uh, Google Sheets dominates Excel in uh, with uh, VLOOKUP is looking to the left. So in this VLOOKUP, we've always look, had to look in the, the leftmost column for the color. But what if instead, let's just delete this. Let's say that we want to know, first off, which bowl is the vegetable in, a vegetable in. And secondly, um, which fruit is the vegetable paired with? So let's say that we type in here vegetable. Uh, and again, just like before, we'll do our data, data validation, list from a range. We're going to choose the vegetables, so carrots, potatoes, lettuce, and spinach. I'll just highlight that to show that we are using this one now. So the green cell, we'll change that to carrot, to potatoes, things like that. And I want it to return the um, both the color of the bowl and the fruit that it's paired with. So this time we're going to start off just like before with a VLOOKUP. But the cool thing about Google Sheets is you can create what's called a literal array from a bunch of different values, again using the braces that we saw earlier. So the first column that we're going to use is the column C. Highlight those first and then put a comma and then these other two columns. Again, if you want to lock them like we did before, you can. So this has now created 
a an array that instead of going from color fruit vegetables it goes vegetables first because we put the vegetables first in our list then the colors and fruits um, and I've actually done that wrong that there is the array that we want to find first we need to say what we're looking for we're looking for potatoes which is in h2 I'm going to lock that with f4 so this says look for whatever's in h2 we're going to look in this array that we've just created out of this previous array and let's look in columns two and three remember column two and three is the color and the fruit again end off with a zero for an exact value and start with an array formula press enter and we see that potatoes matches with blue and apples it's in the blue potatoes is in the blue um, the blue bowl and it's matched with apples if we change this to carrot we get pink and bananas carrot pink bananas lettuce green pineapple so both Excel and Google Sheets um, has this VLOOKUP function but Google Sheets VLOOKUP is just so dang more powerful because of the array formulas and making uh, little arrays to create new, for, uh, new lookup tables so I uh, hope that's been helpful I'll show you in another video coming up soon how we can use numbers for VLOOKUPs see you there